Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick update. I am at exactly four weeks today uh, from my injury. Things have been going well. Um, not a lot of big changes since I checked in with you guys last. I'm still going to physical therapy. I am still using both crutches, um, but I am putting about 50% of weight on my foot now, so that's exciting. So, uh, the exercises that I've been doing at physical therapy, a lot of range of motion for the ankle still. So doing things like pumping your ankle, um, doing the ankle ABCs, stretching your toes. Um, they are having me do these exercises where you try to isolate your toe movement. Um, it sounds really easy, it's not. Um, it is something that I have never had to do, and I wouldn't even be able to do it, I guarantee, on my good foot. Um, but here's kind of what it looks like when you are trying to do those exercises. So you're trying to move one toe at a time. Um, so just something for you guys to try if you never have done that before. It's really, really frustrating for me. Um, it's the worst part of physical therapy because... My brain, for some reason, just can't send the right signal to my foot, but I'm told um, that's kind of going to help me during the recovery process. You know, I'm working out muscles of my foot that I've never worked out before, so something different there. In terms of activity and what I've been able to do since my injury, um, I've been doing a whole lot, so you don't need to feel super restricted. I mean, I drive my car. Puppy wants to join. <laughs> Um, so I did go to the beach this weekend, um, and wrap my foot in saran wrap. So if you can take a look at that, I'd highly recommend that I didn't get any sand in my boot. So it was great. Um, I went to a concert over the weekend. Um, they did give me accessible seating, so that was super helpful. Um, but yeah, not really feeling very restricted and very much looking forward to being able to walk without two crutches soon. So I'll give you guys an update, <laughs> um, but overall things have been going pretty well. Hey guys, it's about five weeks out from the injury. I wanted to give you an update. Biggest things that have happened this week. I was approved to go from two crutches to one. That has been a huge help for me. You can't, you know, you don't think about how big of a deal it is not being able to use your hands, but now I have a free hand. I can carry things around when I'm out and about, so that's been really big. Uh, one thing with the, the one crutch, I do want to say, it did take me a while to get my physical therapist to approve me for that. Um, I've had previous injuries on my leg, and so I think that automatically I try to really protect the injured side. And so I wasn't putting enough weight on the injured foot. I was trying to lean it more so to the side where the crutch was. And so um, I had to go through three appointments, testing the one crutch, trying uh, before they said, okay, you're finally ready. Uh, but that did happen this week. So it's been awesome since that point and things are much easier. Uh, the other thing that changed this week was we took out one of the lifts of my boot. I wanted to show you guys just the boot quickly. I know I've just flash it up quickly before but so this is the boot um you guys can see it has kind of a big heel here already built in and then it runs up through right below your knee um and it has these things in the inside that are called lifts so this uh is what the lifts look like when i started i was at three lifts this week i went down to two so you can see one two um, and basically what happens with these is as you progress and you heal, um, you start to take out one lift at a time until eventually you're flat. So the purpose of these, again, is so that your foot and Achilles, your foot's pointing downwards and that helps your Achilles heal in a shortened position um, so that you're able to do things like jump um, and other physical activities once you're back to normal. Um, so just wanted to show you guys that. That was one other change. Um, the other thing to note is just physical therapy differences. So I told you before I was doing a lot of ankle exercises. Um, so we have upgraded to a lot of exercises with the band. This is one of the exercises that I do every time I'm at physical therapy. So strengthening kind of the ankle motion using a band. Uh, but more exciting for me as we started to do a lot of leg strengthening exercises over the last week or week and a half. So 
a lot of leg lifts with the band to kind of add some resistance, something new uh, that we're trying. I've never done it before. I've been to physical therapy a lot, unfortunately, for knees and ankles, but this was new to me. Um, restricting blood flow to the leg and then doing exercises while that blood flow is restricted. So how that works is that they wrap a pressure cuff around the top of your thigh. They pump it up just like they would a blood pressure cuff on your arm. Um, and then while that blood flow is restricted, you're doing leg exercises. And I guess that helps um, work on your strength more quickly. And so that's been one thing that's, uh, you know, changed over the last week. But overall, uh, things are going really good. Um, the one crutch has made such a difference. Um, you know, no real pain. Uh, ankle flexibility is looking great. They've checked how my tendon is healing and say things are all good. So I will say I wear my boot all of the time except for right now to show you guys. Um, and I think that's been a big difference maker. My foot's always kind of pointed down. So kind of following the steps that were provided by my orthopedic doctor. Um, but I will give you guys an update in a couple of weeks. I'll say I have some big things coming up. Um, I am in a wedding next weekend. So I will still be on a crutch for that. Um, so I'll give you guys an update on how that goes and kind of all of the activities that go along with the wedding. I hope I can still do a lot of them. Um, and then I go on vacation in two weeks. So we'll see. I should be walking by that point. I'm going to snorkel regardless. I did buy a different boot for that. I don't, that's not really recommended, sorry. Um, but I have been waiting to snorkel for a year, so I'm going to have my foot in a boot while I'm snorkeling, so it's not moving, it's not flexing. Um, so I'll give you guys an update on how that goes, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.